Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting outside watching the chickens, having my coffee with all you. Well, um, first I want to start off, a couple people had left comments about Miss Pris and the baby chicks. And first of all, I'll let you know that they're doing great inside that little brooder back in there with the heat mat at night. They instinctively go up into the little coop, so I don't even have to worry about that. I just turn the heater on. Um, but a couple of you had suggested Miss Pris taking the baby chicks out into the yard and showing them the ropes and whatnot. And I had really hoped I'd be able to do that. That's what I had planned on doing. But she started showing signs of stress and anxiety. She was stepping on a few of the chicks. Um, she was panting and she was pacing and she just seemed like she wanted to get away, but I kept her back there. I kept putting her back there and it just, it didn't matter how I bolstered the netting, she just wanted out of there. And I think part of it is because I think it was just too hot in there for her um, and not enough space and maybe she just lost her instinct to be a broody hen and so by that time it was too late I think. I think it was just too late and I think she had lost her protective instinct because she just wanted to get away from them. Um, so if I had maybe tried to start that a couple days sooner that would have been great but the weather just wasn't going to be good for the baby chicks outside. It was getting cold, it was raining, and the baby chicks would have been able to get out of the yard because the netting is too too wide for them. So, um, you know, I watched her and them very closely, and after she went out free-ranging with the other chickens, she basically has forgotten about those chickens. Um, so I, she doesn't have that protective instinct anymore. So it wouldn't be wise to put the chicks out in the yard with Miss Pris because I don't think she wants to be a mommy anymore. Uh, that night that I did that one video, she, she didn't even go, try to go to the back. The first time she left the little brooder and back, she would go back at night before, you know, nightfall and you would hear her squawking and going crazy. She just wanted to get back in there, but that stopped. Um, for a couple of days and she started laying eggs so that means there's been a hormonal shift she's no longer a mommy she's back to being an egg laying hen that wants to be part of a flock so I just didn't want to risk it the good thing is is that the other chickens can see all the baby chicks they are kind of co mingling in the van coop back there and I'm gonna bring them outside very soon I'm, I've ordered a thing and it's supposed to be here on Wednesday um, I don't know when this is going to be published, maybe Tuesday, I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, so it, it was just too late. She had just lost her broody instinct, and I didn't want to risk those chicks getting hurt. Next time, hmm, if, if another hen goes broody and she stays with them longer than three weeks, then I will definitely be letting her take them outside and follow them around and you know, protect her, protect her chicks and all that, because that is the best way to do it. That's the most natural way. It's the easiest way, but unfortunately, this kind of ended a little bit sooner than I had wanted, uh, but that's okay. She did a good job for almost three whole weeks, and I'm very proud of her, and she has become the top hen once again. You know, it was Leghorns, but now she lets Leghorns know exactly how she feels, she is the biggest hen, and I got to tell you, she's beautiful, and Romeo just loves her so much. They just stick by each other. So, anyhow, that's that's my little update on that. I'm going to try and get some closer footage of the chicks today so you all can look at their feathers so we can see maybe if we can tell what they're going to be when they grow up. It doesn't matter if they're hens or roosters. I'll find a way to integrate them all one way or the other, or um, I will likely separate the large run and maybe separate flocks so we'll just see what I come up with on that anyhow my arm was getting tired the rest of the day is going to be spent hauling water filtering water and I'm going to try and get some footage of those baby chicks so gotta finish my coffee and then I'm going to get going watch this watch a little black one on the left he's the one I think is a rooster he or she who knows watch yep he does that all the time, and he'll get up in their face and have a like a chicken stare-down contest. And he's very inquisitive. Pretty chicken. Hi, 
baby chickens. Let's see what he does. Is he going to be nice? Aww. Look at that. See? The little white ones have little... Morning, Romeo. Has little black splotches on them. And the lake one on the far right has the biggest comb. Another rooster? <sighs> Look at me. I'm all sweaty. You know why? Because I got my mower out again. I just couldn't, I could, just could not mow. So I went and mowed some more. And I love this thing. I love it. I may end up mowing a whole lawn with it. That's a section I mowed. Now there's some things that are still standing, but those are the ones that I was trying to avoid. I mowed this whole area back here and it did a pretty gosh darn good job. This over here, there's a whole patch of those special plants that I don't want to mow down. Um, I'm letting this grow a little bit taller until it goes to seed so I can disperse the seeds. I did part of the area back there. Yeah, this is a very handy little mower. I'm happy. Can you see? I got my happy face on because I have a lawnmower. I don't know. I mean, it would be a lot of work, but I am going to get in shape using that little lawnmower. I'm going to try it. Not right now because I'm exhausted. I'm going to try it down by the front, you know, and see how it does. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to do it all myself. It's good being able to do things yourself. Totally good. What does Papa think of my mowing skills? Hmm? This boy has got his bark back. Oh, yeah. On May 5th, Wednesday, this little boy is going to be emancipated. Yes, you're going to be running free again. Yay! Good boy. Good boy. Hmm. Break time. I don't know. Maybe. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. It's starting to rain. At least my chickens are close to home. I gotta go up on the porch. So instead, I water glassed another, hmm, 34 eggs. The other one has 36, but most of these are pretty large eggs. Yeah, I need to find my labels, put a proper label on it. Look at <laughs> my chickens got out over the hill. I did drop the little fence over there so they could get back in, but nope, they're just all camping out underneath my truck, out of the rain. Silly chickens, your home is just over there. Gosh, I'm a mess. Look at me. I'm always a mess. Anyway, uh, there's absolutely nothing else going on on this tiny homestead. It's raining, can't do much else outside, so I'm just going to call it a day. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.